welcome to Unit 4. Unit 4 begins with additional exploration of cost, volume, profit analysis. CVP analysis is the study of the effects of changes in costs and volume on a company's profit. CVP analysis is important to profit planning and is a critical factor in determining a company's product sales mix, maximum use of production facility, and establishing sales price. So our unit four starts as with the other units, our overview and our outcomes. So informed decision making is perhaps the most important management function. So as organizations decision management process may not always follow an established set of rules or patterns because decisions vary significantly in their scope. So depending on the level of urgency and importance, decisions may have to be made absent certain specific guidance. So incremental analysis identifies that those potential consequences of all such decisions on business sustainability and future profitability. After completing this unit, you should be able to compute a target cost when the market determines a product price, compute a target selling price using cost plus pricing, use time and management pricing to determine the cost of services produced, and lastly, determine a transfer price using the negotiated cost-based and market-based approaches. As we progress through unit four, we will see here we have our readings this week so we are still focusing on chapter 19 cost volume profit analysis but now we're exploring additional issues so the relationship between the company's fixed and variable costs can have a significant effect on profitability specifically cost structures dominated by fixed costs will experience significantly greater net income volatility so in this unit, we're going to explore additional CVP, cost, volume, profit analysis topics. And the objective here is to demonstrate how effective business decisions incorporate CVP analysis. And so don't forget to look at the Wiley Plus videos for the reading as well. And then if we continue with our unit four here, we will see then we have our discussion instructions. I look forward to your participation in the discussion. Then we have several learning activities. Let's go into that here. And you can practice what you've learned using the learning activities from each of this unit. And we will move on. We have our assignment. And this we will cover extensively in our Unit 4 seminar. So this is the first part of the case. And I do recommend reading all of the instructions before attending our seminar. And as you see here, you're going to be submitting in this unit uh, the outline for your case. And then here we have all of the assignment instructions. And in our first seminar, I will go over all of this information with you. And then we have our seminar itself. So I will see you at the regularly scheduled date and time for our seminar. And then the last thing that you have in this unit is you have the main lab instructions and then to complete the main lab using Wiley Plus. And after you attend our seminar, participate in the discussion and complete the uh, lab, then you are at the end of our unit. And hopefully by the time you reach the end of unit four, you have begun to explore additional cost volume profit analysis. You were hopefully able to study the effects of changes in costs and volume on a company's profit. And CVP analysis, as hopefully you've learned, is important to profit planning and a critical factor in determining a company's product sales mix and the maximum use of the production facilities as well as establishing sales price. So, and then if we look ahead, you will see that we're going to be previewing in units nine and, I'm sorry, units seven and nine case study, the part two and the part three of the case study. So you will see here, you have the manufacturing company that you will select and then each of the instructions in the grading rubric. I do recommend reading all of the instructions collectively prior to you know prior to completing the case analysis so once you do all of that then that concludes our unit four thank you